Hello, my name is Václav Brzezina. I'm the author of Statistics in Corpus Linguistics, a practical guide, and the developer of Lancaster Stats Tools Online. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to use the effect size calculator. Go to Toolbox, scroll down to Bringing Everything Together, and select Effect Size Calculator. Effect sizes are very important to be reported in our research report and published articles in order to show what the real effect is of the linguistic variables or their comparison. We have different types of input options ranging from p-values and the sizes of the corpora, corpus 1, corpus 2 in terms of their texts or speakers, mean 1, mean 2, standard deviation 1, standard deviation 2, and again, sample size uh, in corpus 1 and sample size in corpus 2 in terms of the text or speakers. If we calculate a t-test, we'll get a t-value, and again, two sample sizes for ANOVA, we'll get an f-value, and two sample sizes. R is the correlation coefficient, and again, the size of the corpus in terms of the number of texts or speakers. D is Cohen's D, again, two sample sizes. Log odds ratio variance and two sample sizes are D, eta squared, or log odds ratio, just a simple values here. So we have a range of options we can choose. For example, let's choose the p-value. If our p-value the exact p-value is something like 0 0.00152. Semicolon, 100 text in one corpus and 200 text in another corpus. We just calculate the effect size. We can see that we get a range of effect sizes from Cohen's D, Hedges G, R, Fisher's Z, and log odds ratio. Not only do we get the effect size itself, but we also get a 95% confidence interval. That is the interval of values or range of values where the effect size is very likely to lie in the whole population. We can choose another option. Let's say that we have the R value, the correlation coefficient, and the size of the corpus in terms of the text, number of texts, let's say 0.5 and we have something like 200 different texts, and then we get the equivalent Cohen's D, Fisher's Z, log odds ratio, and also the confidence interval. The larger the sample size, let's say 2000, the smaller the confidence interval. You can see that now the confidence interval is much smaller than in the previous case if I go to 20,000 text, then again, it approaches the value that we get. If you are advanced users, you can look at the R code that is used to compute these effect sizes, and you can tweak and adjust that on your local computer. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.